Many people still believe that if you don't eat protein within 30 minutes after training, your entire session was wasted. But this idea was debunked years ago. In reality, as long as your pre-workout and post-workout meals are within roughly four to six hours of each other, you'll be maximizing the anabolic response to training. A possible exception to this would be if you train fasted, in which case you should try to consume some protein as soon as you can after your workout. Perhaps a more important but less discussed timing variable is consuming protein before bed. A study from my friend Joran Tromelin and his colleague Luke Van Loon describe pre-sleep protein as an important protein feeding opportunity. They suggest consuming roughly 40 grams of protein before an overnight fast to improve overnight muscle protein synthesis. This is personally what I aim for. Granted, two other longitudinal studies that directly tested consuming a slow digesting casein protein either before bed or in the morning found no significant difference after eight to 10 weeks. However, both of these studies had subjects consuming a very high protein intake overall in the range of two grams per kilo or about one gram per pound. Once again, highlighting that as long as total daily protein intake is sufficient, these specific timing factors are much less important. There are also no legitimate safety concerns around a high protein diet in healthy individuals. According to this gigantic position stand from the International Society of Sports Nutrition, there is, quote, no controlled scientific evidence indicating that increased intakes of protein pose any health risks in healthy, exercising individuals. And the amount of protein recommended in this video has been shown over decades to not only be safe, but actually have health benefits. Even going way above the recommendations here, as high as 4.4 grams per kilo or two grams per pound has consistently reported no harmful effects. So by far the most important factor is total daily protein intake. If you're looking to optimize further, you can pay attention to how you distribute your protein throughout the day with three to five meals most likely being the anabolic sweet spot. These two factors alone will yield more than 90% of your potential results. However, protein quality can be worth keeping in mind and protein timing may have some benefit from an optimization standpoint, especially if you train fasted or if you have a really long overnight fast.